Right now at 6, protecting your kids from predators. The local gymnastics coach accused of recording kids while they changed now faces 10 counts of child pornography. The owner of a local gym, James Cavisto, was charged last week. He's been a coach, gymnastics coach, since 1987 in both Milwaukee and Racine counties. Just last month, Olympic gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser was sentenced to at least 40 years in prison for sexual misconduct. So the big question, how do you protect your kids? We went to a local gym where the owner is a mom and a coach. Casey Geraldo shares one expert's advice. Casey. Carol, Sarah Banks says she knows gymnastics has a trust issue right now. She says is both a coach and a parent. She's built her gym with the goal of building that with families. When families come to Flips for All, Sarah Bank wants parents to know everyone who works with their kids. You see how they relate to your child, everything from how they speak to them to how they handle them. She says it's also important to know the people in charge. Who's running the gym? Who's background checking? Who's making sure that the people that work with your children are qualified? Their questions in the spotlight on a national level. Almost 200 women, including Olympians, testified about sexual abuse they endured at the hands of Dr. Larry Nasser. And locally, two coaches have gone through court for inappropriate behavior in the last year. Bank considers it an uphill battle for the sport and a reason for parents to ask extra hard questions. Who's making sure what content is on computers or who's with children in the gym? Those questions aren't covered by USA Gymnastics, an organization that offers memberships to coaches. Member coaches do have to be safety certified every four years, background checked every two years, and take gymnastics education courses. The state tells us they don't certify children's athletic coaches. But Banks says for her, Having her own gym feels like a more certain option. Ensure that who has my children and other people's children in the gym are truly the type of people I would choose. She hopes having this conversation will empower parents. Bank says in the current climate, parents have to have a high standard on their own for who's working with their kids. She would like to see a licensing system put into place. And USAG does have a reporting system called Safe, Spo Safe Sport designed to report misconduct. Yeah, you can't be cautious enough. Thank you very much, Casey.